Hi there! Welcome back to Scadia.com. So, today we're going to be learning about the ethmoid bone. So, what is the ethmoid bone? So, we'll cover the ethmoid bone by first introducing the bone, and then we'll be talking about where it's located. And after that, we'll talk a little bit about its functions and then its shape and components. Then we'll get into a little bit of detail to explain all of the different structural components. And after that, we'll be talking about the ossification and some clinical points related to the ethmoid bone. But in the first video, we're only going to be talking about all of these points here, up to shape and components. Let's start. The first question is, what is the ethmoid bone? The ethmoid bone, to me, it looks like a walnut out of its shell. So the ethmoid bone is an irregularly shaped bone that mainly forms the nasal septum and the bony lattice that forms the internal structure right behind the upper part of the face. So here you can see all of these different views of the bone. Here's the anterior view. Here we can see the perpendicular plate. This is the crista galli. And these are the labyrinths on the right side. Sorry, that was the left side. And this is the right side. This is the cribriform plate. This is the superior view. And here's an oblique view. These are the ethmoidal air cells. Here is an, the uncinate process, as seen from the lateral view. And this is the orbital plate of the ethmoid bone. So we'll discuss all of these structures in more detail later on. Let's talk about the location. The ethmoid bone is an irregularly shaped bone that mainly forms the nasal septum and the bony lattice that forms the internal structure right behind the upper part of the face. It is situated in the visceral cranium, in the midline posterior to the frontal sinus and nasal bones. Here's the frontal sinus. Here's the nasal bone. This is the midline. It forms a major part of the nasal septum along with the vomer and forms the roof and walls of the nasal cavity. So here is the medial wall of the nasal cavity. Here's the vomer bone. And these form the lateral nasal walls right here. So we'll discuss these structures in a bit. So from an exam point of view, if asked, where is the ethmoid bone? Here are some important points that need to be noted. So the location of the ethmoid bone is situated in the visceral cranium right here. This blue part, this is the visceral cranium. And this red part here, this is the neurocranium. So where's the ethmoid? It's located in the skull right here. This is the ethmoid bone. Another important point about the location is it contributes to the medial walls of the orbits. So here we have the ethmoid plate of the orbit. So here's another view. In this view, we can see the medial nasal wall right here. Here's the ethmoid bone. On the right side here, we can see, sorry, you can't see the crystal in this view. And here we can see the ethmoid bone right here in the lateral nasal wall. An important point to notice in the lateral nasal wall, this structure over here, although it is also called a nasal concha, as well as these. This structure here is a separate bone. This is the inferior nasal concha. 
Whereas these parts, this is the superior and this is the middle nasal concha. These are part of the ethmoid bone. This is a section taken from exactly the midline of the skull. So if we have our skull here, right? This is a section taken exactly in the midline, right here. And this is a section taken right from here. In this view, we will not be able to see the crista galli. There's a missing crista galli here. But in the midline, you can see the crista galli. That's it for the location. Now, as we will be learning further, it's important to understand when we learn about the ethmoid bone, for the sake of anatomical description, we're going to learn about it in two parts, the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. So we'll learn about the vertical axis and its components and the horizontal axis and its components. So the important parts of the vertical axis are the perpendicular plate, as we can see here. The cribriform plate and the crista galli. And these two wings of the ethmoid bone are known as the labyrinths. Here we can see the nasal concave. This is the superior, and this is the middle. This is the uncinate process. And these are the ethmoidal air cells. So let's go over some interesting facts about the ethmoid bone. So the ethmoid bone articulates with 13 different bones. The first one is the frontal bone, which is an unpaired bone. So three of them are unpaired. The frontal bone is unpaired, the vomer is unpaired, and the sphenoid is unpaired. You can see it here as well. So just as a reminder, this is the medial view. And this is the lateral nasal wall, the medial nasal wall and the lateral nasal wall. So these are the three unpaired bones, the frontal, the vomer, and the sphenoid. We can see here in yellow. Also, we can see that there is a nasal bone. The nasal bone is only the left and right nasal bones meet together with the perpendicular plate here. So from the lateral nasal wall, there is the frontal process of the maxilla that comes in between. So it articulates with the ethmoid bone right over here. And we have the two lacrimal bones as well. So here's the right lacrimal bone and one on the left side. Then we have the inferior nasal concha. And after that, finally, we have the palatine bone right over here. 